TeachAnOldDogNewTricks.com. More than 40 hours of free computer training. Sit, stay, and learn. Thank you. Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is Tony Holowitz and I want to thank you for being here. In this tutorial about Word 2010, we're going to talk about printing without borders. You can use borders, but to me this is one of the most compelling reasons why we use Microsoft Word's tables. Sometimes you use tables just to organize information, but you don't always want people to know that you have all of your information in a table, hence you don't want them to know that's what you're doing to organize the information. So let me give you an example of that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here to where it says File up on the File tab. I'm going to come down to Print and on the right hand side we see our Print Preview. This is what it's going to look like if we decide we want to print out this sheet or this Word document right now. But I'm going to go back to the Home tab just to get away from this print area and I'm going to go inside this table but actually I'm going to change that slightly and I'm going to go over and grab the Move tab which is right here. It's this little item. That's a quick and easy way to select the entire table. I'm going to go up and click on Design and I want to draw your attention over here to where it says Borders. Above it it says Shading. I'm going to click on the drop down and I'm going to go down to where it says No Border and I want you to see what's going to happen. When I click on No Border all the borders are gone in my table. Now, from a print point of view, this will allow it to print out without borders. And to prove that, let's go back over to the File tab. Let's go back down to Print. And in the preview, you'll see your table, although it has cells, is not going to print out with the borders. Now one of the dilemmas you face is, let's say you like it this way. This is the look you want. You've accomplished that but you want to have the ability to go back and work within these cells but you don't want to put the borders back on well in this particular case if you click on view I'm sorry I misspoke if you go back and click inside the table and then in the design area you'll see there's no options there but if you click on layout over here on the right hand side I'm sorry the left hand side it says view grid lines and if you click on that what it will do is it will put these blue grid lines in your table. So what it will do for you is allow you to see the cells that you've created. But again, when we go back to File and we go to look at Print and you go over to the right hand side, you don't see those borders. In essence, they are just guides that allow you to see the cells so you can continue to work with them and manipulate them. So in another tutorial, we'll talk a little more in detail about borders, how you can work with them. But just remember, when you change something about anything in Word, you have to select what it is you want to change to apply it, whether it be to put borders on or take them off. My name is Tony Holowitz, and I want to thank you very much for being here. Have a great day.